Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best centers in NBA 2K23, my team here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. We just hit 10K a couple days ago. Really do appreciate all the recent support and everybody for subscribing to the channel. But now we're on the push towards 11K, so make sure you subscribe to help us reach that mark. One thing I will say, this video is coming out on Friday. I'm going out of town Wednesday, which is why I'm recording this Tuesday night. So this video is not up to date with Friday's content. So there will likely be a center that comes out in Friday's content that should be on this tier list, but is not. So if that is the case, I do apologize. I'll try to leave a comment and let y'all know where I would rank that center or those players on this tier list. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Going to go Chet Holmgren in the B tier. He is seven foot, but he's a little bit weak. He is a great playmaker for a center, has very good sigs, and is a very capable defender with a great player build. But he is a little bit weak, hurts him on the interior. He does get mastered relatively easily at times by the biggest and best centers uh, and he can get out rebounded as well at times and also does not have the fastest release in the world I think he's good I don't think he's next level I think B tier is fair for him gonna go I think B as well for Cayman in all honesty on any other position a card like Chris Cayman would be C but the center position is just not that deep unfortunately I mean it's really not a position it's becoming deeper but we still are lacking I feel like at the center position more than we are at other positions um, and yeah Chris Cayman I mean he's got a good release he's a capable defender and he's got decent speed and that's about all you need from kiss chris came in good enough to put him in the b tier as well i mean d rob damn near you could almost argue d rob's a tier and in fact he might actually wind up getting moved up we just don't have that many good centers like i keep saying i think he is a tier actually looking at the cards on this list uh he's got a good enough release he's a very good interior defender he's big and he can rebound the ball well and i still think he's a top 10 center in the game which means he's a b tier center i mean that's just the way it, or an a tier center that's just the way it is right now uh, Dark Matter D-Rob is an obvious S tier. That one's not close. I mean, we got a few obvious, obvious S tiers on this list, and Dark Matter D-Rob is certainly one of them. A guy with an just an awesome player, or an awesome all-around game. Like, he can slash a super high level, has amazing dunk animations, really nice release. Same release as the Pink Diamond, but on quick, which definitely improves, and it's super smooth and easy to green. He moves really well. He's a very good defender. He's a top-tier center. Huge fan of that card. Gonna go A-tier high A for Dino Raja. I think Dino is really, really good. Can't quite put him S-tier, but I love this card at Power Forward or Center. The 6'11 wing, sorry, 7'11 wingspan is absolutely amazing. He's a top-tier card. Big, big fan of what he can do, and uh, he's just an awesome budget option at Power Forward or Center. So definitely high A for him. Greg Oden's also going to go S, I do believe. I think Greg Oden is really underrated. I feel like people aren't talking about the card as much as they should be. And if y'all saw my Greg Oden gameplay that I did a few days ago, he is a dominant force on the interior. Really, really good. Feels really fast with the ball in his hands. Very good player build. Definitely a very underrated card at the center position. Definitely pretty high on him. Wiseman goes C tier in my opinion, mainly because he's got a terrible release. Everything else about the card is very good, but I cannot stand his release. So I got to put him C tier. I just don't think he's good enough to be any higher same thing with Embiid honestly Embiid's not quite as good of an all-around card as Wiseman probably has a slightly better release but still not a good release not a big fan of J uh, Joel Embiid this year in my team either so he's gonna go C tier as well I feel like you gotta go D tier for Jonas Valanciunas he's not bad but he's just not great I feel like he's probably gonna wind up being the best guy in the D tier but his release is not elite he's not super fast he doesn't have half anchor his badges aren't incredible he's not an elite shooter he doesn't do anything at a crazy high level and I just think he's kind of mediocre so I feel like you got to go be a D tier for him as well uh Kareem is one of those ones that's kind of in between for me like I think he's in between B or C at this point specifically this Kareem because of the fact that he's got the low three ball and does struggle to shoot especially with his release only being on normal but when he's open he'll knock him down especially if you know what you're doing and he's still a great interior force on both ends of the court so i think for now we're going to throw him in the b tier still a very capable card just not an elite level center at this point uh kareem speaking of the other kareem dark matter is obviously s tier he's i mean you could make the argument he's the best center in the game i still don't think i would take him as the best center in the game but he is absolutely incredible the re his release being on very quick definitely doesn't improve it a lot even though he doesn't have a top tier release still it is the same release being on very quick makes it way better which is really nice. He's super good with the ball in his hands. An incredible playmaker. Gets super nasty animations. Just a top tier card. Definitely an absolute beast. Same thing with KP. Another top tier card with great size. One of the few guys who can guard Yao. Really, Kareem and KP and one other guy on this list are the only three guys in the game that I feel like truly compete against Yao at a high level besides Yao himself, especially on the interior. And I mean, KP is super long. They decided to make him a souped up defender for whatever reason. He's a knockdown shooter with incredible range and moves pretty well with the ball in his hands. Has good speed, especially for a seven foot three player. 
player as well. And I think he's very solid. Marcus Gasol is going to go high C for me. I just don't love his release. I mean, he's good. He's a good interior defender. He doesn't. He's not super fast though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, he doesn't have incredible size, but he's not a bad card. I just don't think he's elite. So I'm going to go C tier for him. And I'm going to actually go B tier for Mark Eaton, despite the fact that he can't shoot the ball at all because he's seven foot four. And he, along with KP and Kareem, are the three guys who I believe can compete against Yao on the interior. At seven foot four, he is a mismatch as a masher against basically everyone else besides those guys on the offensive end of the court. And defensively, he can guard any center in the game on the interior, be an elite rebounder, an incredible masher, incredible rim protector, and has even decent athletic ability as well, especially for a 7'4 player. Despite not being able to shoot, I legitimately still think he's B tier because he's that good in those areas. Oluwakandi's going to go low A in my opinion. I think he's not bad. I just don't think he's great at this point, but he uh, is a he has a very nice release. He's got good size, a solid player build, very good slasher, good dunk animations, and a very capable defender. Definitely think he's super solid as well. Our last S tier is going to be Yao, obviously, still in my opinion, the best center in the game, a complete mismatch with his size, still nearly unstoppable, even by guys like KP, Kareem, and Mark Eaton at times. I mean, he can be very, very tough to stop or even slow down, uh, especially as a masher, but he can also shoot the ball at a high level, is much quicker than you would expect a Yao card to be at this point in the year. And I mean, he's a beast. I really think Yao is still one of, if not the best cards in the game, probably still the best overall card in the game if you just play like an exploiter and cheese the game and just abuse him because he can be ridiculously good. Nick Claxton, I legitimately believe is an A tier center. Y'all are going to say I'm gassing it. I don't think I am. He can shoot the ball and he's an exceptional defender who's also very quick. I like this card a lot. I think he is very underrated as a center. Huge, huge fan of Nick Claxton. Definitely think he deserves to be in the A tier. I also think Nikola Jokic deserves to be in the A tier. Not the greatest defensive card in the world, but good enough that with being an elite offensive card with a great release and great playmaking and dunk animations, he is an A tier center as well, in my opinion. Patrick Ewing is the easiest D tier of my life. This card is horrendous. I don't even know why I continue including him on tier list, to be completely honest. Maybe because he's a free opal, but and because the center position is weak. But I mean, he's terrible. He's an easy D tier. Also got to go D tier for Shaq. He's like Eaton in that he can't shoot and is good on the interior, but he doesn't have the same level of interior ability as Eaton. Uh, he doesn't compete against a Yao. He's the suiting an ability is, is more of a liability with Shaq by a significant margin than it is with Mark Eaton because he doesn't give you the same interior presence. So got to go D tier for him. Going to go B tier for Kessler. I think um, he can shoot wide open and he's a very good defender. And like he's kind of like Chris Kamen, probably not quite as good of a release as Kamen. I would probably take Kamen over Walker Kessler, but he can hold his own. And then the last player on this list is Willie Cauley Stein, who I have not used. So I have to check and see what this card looks like before I rank him. Hoff rise up, bunch of Hoff defensive badges, very good defensive stats, great rebounder, good speed, can shoot wide open and a good dunker, got good size at seven foot. Um, no shooting badges is not great, and he does have kind of player and quick first step. So I guess you could add limitless range, catch and shoot, bailout, break starter to him as his four badge slots, which would help. If he has those, uh, Tim Duncan release on very quick is not great, but it's fine. MJ dribble style. Eh, he's pretty good. I mean, he's not bad. He's probably B tier as well, uh, which makes me want to move one of these guys in B tier down to C tier, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I think we're just going to leave this list a little bit lopsided, but I think we'll, I think. Um, I think Willie is pretty good, honestly. He's an actually legitimately viable center option compared to a lot of these guys. So, uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this center tier list. Let me know what you think of my list down in the comment section down below. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.